Welcome back. I hope you are doing great. As a part of this class, we will continue our hive hand chant journey. In the previous practical class, we just understood how do we launch this hive terminal in GCP platform and then we created the database called hive db then we created the table customers and we inserted the couple of rows into that first thing is we'll locate the database what we have created we'll see table what we have created and see what is the data which is present in the table how do we see which are the databases present we'll say show databases we can see how db database is there here we'll go ahead and say use hive db get into that say show tables we have customers as one of the table we'll check how many records are there in this table one more important aspect we need to understand here is as we indicated when we execute a hive query it is launching map produce job in this case it is a map only job you can see in some of the other cases it will launch map reduce jobs so hive runs map produce jobs under the hood it converts the hiveql into map produce jobs and gets the data from hdfs and exposes that to user as a table coming back to our table in the customers table we have inserted four records remember we inserted the first record first then we went on to insert other three records what we'll do now is we'll insert few more records and we will query the records i'm going to insert six more records i have already drafted this please go ahead and type this in your notepad and insert these records into your customers table that's what i am doing now inserting it in this case you can see map and reducer jobs are launched it has inserted the data how do i check whether if it has inserted the data or not it will say select star from customers in this case we have only map job you can see it inserted six more records as you see here we inserted neha emily rick jane amit and nina you can see all these six records are inserted along with the four records which were present earlier now why are we playing with the data in hive because we want to analyze the data right and one more thing what we understood is hive ql is almost similar to the sql so we'll write couple of high ql queries and try to analyze this data i want to find all the customers where address is equal to ka let me execute this high ql query
Wonderful. You can see out of those 10 records, it got me only those records which are matching with this condition. The condition being where address is equal to K. We'll try one more condition. I'll copy this. Instead of selecting all the columns, I'll select only couple of columns. Say select name and address from customers where address is equal to I'll say CA this time. We have only one record matching this condition. The name of the person is Jane and we can see the address is California CA. In this particular table, I am mixing and matching the states in USA and India. Next condition, what we will do is we will have two conditions together. I will say the address is equal to K and ID is greater than two, 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 two. Let me execute this and see what's happening here. I'm executing the Hive QL queries. It's running now. What's happening here? I didn't get any records. That is because we have combined these two condition where address is equal to K and ID is greater than two, 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 two. Let us see what are the different records and see if any of the records are matching this condition. Take the last one. What is our condition? The condition is where address is equal to K and ID is greater than 2,222. Let us check K. No, this is not more than 2,222. Another K is here. Both those IDs are not greater than 2,222. That is the reason we didn't get any results when we ran this query. What we'll do is we'll just modify this query. Instead of ID is greater than 2,222, we'll make it as a 1,000 and run this modified query. Look at that. We got these two records which is matching that condition. We'll try a couple of more ways of querying through HiQL before we wrap up this second practical class in Hive. We ran this query where we are saying select count star from customers. It's counting total number of records in this table. can see mapper and reducer is used. You can see as a part of this query, we are using a group by here. What this query does is it groups by the customers by their address and counts those records which are grouped by address. In this case, you can see one, one, two, one, 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 two. That means if you look at the records, couple of them are repeated. Otherwise, all other addresses are unique here. So wherever we have KA, in that case, two are there. In other cases, we have WA. In these two cases, the addresses are repeated. Wonderful. As a part of this practical class, 
we understood how HiveQL works by launching the MapReduce jobs under the hood. Second thing is how HiveQL is almost similar to the SQL. Please do practice all these things. Thank you. Thank you.